welcome back. Today we are going to be showing you the best way to make fog-filled bubbles using dry ice and science. Welcome to Destructive Creativity. We exist for you, for science, and for fun. If any of those things appeal to you, make sure you click on that subscribe button and the like button and whatever other buttons you want. And today we are working with bubbles. We will be using dry ice to make fog-filled bubbles. But before we do that, we're going to show you how to make a long-lasting bubble solution. Yes, with a secret ingredient that makes it last longer. <laughs> so, what we need to start is we'll need some water, we'll need some dish soap. Oh, specifically, Dawn Ultra Concentrated. This works really well for big bubbles. We'll also need some cornstarch, some baking powder, not to be confused with baking soda, and some glycerin. This is the secret ingredient. You really need glycerin, or you could substitute it for some personal lubricant, but this is better. <laughs> uh, this uses this is usually used to restore consistency in icing colors. So I got it from a craft store that sells cake decorating stuff. We have our mixture here and it's glorious. I'm Really hoping this is all correct because this is a brand new batch, but we'll be experimenting together. Yay! Let's show exactly what happens when we put some dry ice into hot water. Would you mind pouring some hot water into this container? So just one little piece. It creates clouds. This is not carbon dioxide. This is actually water vapor that is being created by the sublimination of carbon dioxide of the dry ice. So as this expands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as the gas expands, it rises out of this uh, bowl, and if we were to create a film of soap over top of it, it will just build up and up and up and hopefully create a big old bubble full of smoke. So somehow we need to create a film of soap that covers the entire surface. We're going to be trying two different methods, one using a pipe cleaner and one using a piece of yarn string stuff. But to make this easier, we're going to pour some soap into this dish. It's actually a lid for an ice cream bucket, but hey, it works. There we go. So we want to try and soak the string in the soap. Oh, and by the way, don't touch dry ice with your bare hands. What I'm doing is not suggested, but as long as it doesn't sit in my hands, I'll be fine. Okay, so we have the smoke. Now this is soaked up. So then we just need to cover this. Hmm. Let's see, we'll get this all soaked up. Not soapy. Maybe we'll try a pipe cleaner instead. Oh, it's close. It's very close. Okay, oh, so we've is. sealed it, but now as the gas expands, it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. That's oh. really cool. <laughs> <laughs> the pipe cleaner definitely works the best. So now we're getting lots of little bubbles. Not one big one. That's probably because we don't have quite enough dry ice inside of the water. But still cool. Very cool. So what happens if we pop it? Boop. <laughs> oh, now there's just lots of bubbles. When we pop it. Got some good ones. So this is a bigger container. And we're just soaking the pipe cleaner here. 
It's okay, it'll work eventually. Did we get it? Oh, I think we got I think it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Yay! Here we go. We have captured the gas. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how big this will get. Wow. wow. <laughs> okay, super cool. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, and there's some little there's bubbles little coming bubbles. up through the bottom. <laughs> it's just <laughs> That's that so cool. Awesome. It's just <laughs> That's so cool. That's really cool. Wow. Okay. Well, that worked. We'll push this aside and now we'll show you how to make your own little bubble machine using an old milk carton and some tubing. Very cool. This next time, we're going to be connecting a tube to this milk jug. Uh, and then sealing it up with some polymer clay and then attaching the end of the tube to the other, to the spout end of an old condiment jar. First, we want to puncture a hole in the milk jug. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be big enough to stick a tube into. Like that. Now, would you mind sealing up that opening just all around with that. We don't want any of the gas to escape. So what we're, think, what we're trying to do here is create it so that the gas, as it expands, can only escape through this tube. And we'll test that out here. Okay, careful, this might be spilling. We drop that in, it's gonna create gas. Screw that. Now the gas is coming out through this hole this, the end of the nozzle right there. Now we need to attach another nozzle backwards. Just like that. Now we have a smoke machine. All right, so now that we've got our contraption all set up, we've got the hole sealed and we've got the dry ice in, we're just gonna take this nozzle end and put it in our soap solution. And draw it out. And pull it out. And there we go. So we are creating a fog-filled bubble on a tube. Yay. <laughs> Super cool. Huh. That's awesome. So if we pop this now, boop. Boop. Here, I think we need more dry ice. Okay, so maybe that's too much dry ice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try that again. Well, this has been really fun. Thanks for joining us on this awesome episode of Bubbles. Now let's see if I can start this next one again. I hope you go out there and do this because this is awesome. Definitely worth it. Pent up every week. Go. We have new content coming out every week, so make sure you keep checking in. We're just gonna watch bubbles and play with science. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Bye!
Fun fact, this is how they make the sound effects at the dentist's office for sucking out your mouth. <laughs> it actually doesn't make any noise, they just use this machine. <laughs>